Well, if you were feeling the Monday blues, don't worry, so was the market. The start of the week has been a dismal one. Um, on the Lal Street, uh, the only, I think, silver lining is that the Nifty has managed to close a tad above the 21,600 mark. In the last few minutes of close, even that was seeming uh, unseemly. Even as, um, you know, in the red, the Nifty and the Sensex seems, as much as a crack is seen there, the fact is that the broader indices have felt much more pain. The Bank Nifty now under very crucial levels today after today's cut. The mid-cap 150, also two and a half points down. Let's look at the small cap index, nearly 4% down. The uh, mid-cap about 2% down. Uh, the biggest uh, culprits of the day are uh, the PSU banks. The PSU bank index also seeing sharp cuts, as were the overall PSU. PSQ basket of stocks, the PSU bank uh, index about 4.5% down. And let's pull up those components and look at what has suffered the most. Uh, Central Bank of India, Yuko Bank, IOB, all of them on circuits. Uh, at least the last, the, the you know, the, the bottom three on circuits, number two, three, four, are really seeing a terrible, terrible uh, kind of cuts uh, today. But it's across the space. And we were talking about the CPSE as well. Uh, uh, and SJVN today. Uh, so massive cuts and NHPC. Now, some of them have to do with their quarterly numbers coming in, which have not been up to the mark. Um, but it's not just those kinds of companies that have seen this kind of a drubbing from investors. Let me pull up the Nifty heat map and show you what kind of an impact we've seen there. But before that, I have the advanced decline ratio here. And the spread in the advanced decline ratio shows you how the bears really took hold off the street today. Coal India before the results down about 5%. Hero Motor on the back of numbers looking weak. ONGC also a weak quarter, which was expected, uh, frankly speaking, uh, because you have seen crude prices internationally slip. Uh, but definitely being punished quite a bit by the street. The only sort of relief space was the pharma and IT pack. Dr. Reddy's Apollo Hospital doing pretty okay today, as was Divi's, but um, I can't say the same for the wider audience. So are we going to see this PSU drubbing continue tomorrow, or, or are we now in a bit of an oversold territory? We'll have to wait and watch for that. Perhaps the pain is yet to continue.